and before you know it, it's gonna be full of roots. Hello and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I'm gonna answer a question for you. Looking for affordable ways to garden on a budget? I'm gonna tell you three different categories of grocery store items that grew plants that I have in my garden. So the first category of plants is probably the biggest and that's gonna be roots. Almost anything can be grown from the root of the plant. Not everything, but there are many things that are super easy to grow from roots. Ginger and turmeric are two really easy ones to do that with. I already have a video about how to grow ginger in your garden. You can just take the grocery store root and you may even already see some green growing on the tips. You can set the roots out to get them to start growing or you can plant them directly into the ground, right at soil level. You leave a little bit of the shoulders showing above the soil and they grow just fine. Our turmeric is also grown from the grocery store. You can see I have it starting. I wanted to get an early start on it. You can see a little bit of green there. So they're gonna start growing, but we always leave a little bit of the surface showing, just like that. Same with the ginger. Another one that's real popular is potatoes. So you can get potatoes that start sprouting. Generally, I only do this with organic potatoes. And the reason for that is you can carry disease into your garden from the potatoes from the grocery store. And they can be difficult to sprout if they're not organic. But these purple ones here are not organic, but it was a chance for me to get true purple potatoes at a really cheap price. And that is affordable gardening. I would definitely use caution though and plant them away from your other potato crops. Then there's the ever so popular garlic. You have probably all have seen garlic that started to sprout in your kitchen. You just break your clothes off of the head of garlic. Oftentimes you'll see they've already started to sprout on top with a little bit of green. Those are ready to go in your garden. You can plant your garlic in the fall for a summer crop or you can even plant it in the spring and just leave it in the garden all year round. Only harvesting what you need when you need it. And then there's a great perennial that I'm really excited about growing. I was able to find a small amount at the grocery store. I'm hoping to find more, but it's sunchoke. Sunchoke is a beautiful perennial. It grows up a tall flower that looks like a small sunflower and the roots are very edible and they will come back year after year. Then the next category that I love to grow from the grocery store is herbs. You'd be surprised how many herbs will root very easily. And when you buy them fresh at the grocery store from cuttings, those cuttings, you just pinch your leaves off and you can root them in a glass of water or in soil. One of my favorite herbs to grow from the grocery store is basil. This one's looking a little sad because I put it out in the bright sun, but you can see that its roots are incredibly well grown. This is just from a couple of weeks of growing from some basil I bought for a recipe. I pinched the leaves off, used the leaves, left two at the top, and bam, I have a new basil plant. And even better, is when I go to the specialty grocery store and I get some Thai basil. I was so excited to find this Thai basil. I didn't even need it for a recipe. I bought it all just for growing into cuttings. They haven't started to root yet, but I just got these this week. So I cannot wait to have some wonderful Thai basil to add to my homemade pho. Mm. I can taste it already. Another herb that grows really easy from cuttings is rosemary. I have rooted many, many rosemary plants in my life and I can't tell you how great it is to be able to use fresh rosemary for your rosemary roasted potatoes. Oh, the best. It's one of my favorite side dishes of all time. But there are tons of other herbs that grow easily from their cuttings that you can purchase at the grocery store. Thyme, oregano, mint, all kinds of different choices. And then one of my favorite things is when you find a tropical fruit that you want to grow or a unique item that you don't see anywhere else. When we go to the specialty grocery store up in Atlanta, I keep my eyes peeled for things that I might want to collect seeds off of. So you do want to aim for things that are labeled heirloom if you're looking at collecting the seeds. But don't be afraid to experiment with that. One year, my daughter fell in love with Kumado tomatoes. They're a little small salad at brown tomato that you see in the grocery store quite commonly. Well, we saved the seed and we grew a ton of Kumado for her and they all came out true to form. 
none of them reverted back to their parents. So definitely worth the experiment and something that I highly recommend others to try. Things like peppers are gonna crossbreed a whole lot more than tomatoes will, but generally with tomatoes, you're pretty safe to go ahead and try it out. One of the things that we found at the H Mart on our last trip up to Atlanta was some beautiful looking melons and you could smell them as you walked up to the counter they were on. And I had to get one just so that I could get the seeds. And boy, was I glad I did. It was the most delicious melon I've ever tasted. It's probably something in the musk melon group. It's kind of like a honeydew in texture, but man, was it sweet and juicy. And then we get into some of the tropical things. If you want to grow tropical stuff, if you have a way to protect them through the winter, definitely, it's a fun thing to do. Lots of you have probably already done it as a child with avocado seeds. We've grown avocados from seeds many times, sometimes keeping them alive for several years. Unfortunately, one of my biggest avocado trees, I tried to experiment and leave out under the frost fabric through the winter and it didn't make it. But I have another one that I started from seed that's actually still in water that I grew from a year ago. <laughs> so this bad boy is gonna get potted up and I will overwinter them either in the house or in my greenhouse. And then we have dragon fruit. Mm, one of the most delicious tropical fruits there is and so good for you. And really, really easy to grow from seed. So I have collected these dragon fruit seed and we will be planting them. I have grown dragon fruit from seed till they were a very good size and then the pot got knocked over by the toddler and I lost them. But I have some dragon fruit cuttings growing from a friend and I am super excited to see how they do. And I will be starting more from seed again because it was a fun experiment that really went well for us. And we can't forget pineapple. Really, really easy to grow. All you gotta do is twist the top off of the fruit, pull off the lower leaves, plop it in a jar of water, and before you know it, it's gonna be full of roots. Now these do take a couple of years to grow a fruit, but it's definitely worth the wait when you get a homegrown pineapple. You have to shelter them in the cold, so make sure you are able to either dig them up out of the garden and bring them in in the winter, or you have a warm place to plant them to begin with. All right, that's all three things that we've grown from items we purchased from the grocery store in a really affordable, garden budget friendly way. As an honorable mention, I'm gonna mention one more, living lettuce. This this is something that has recently been showing up in the grocery store shelves. You'll see one of those plastic clam shells with a head of lettuce inside. And then at the bottom, they have a little well where the roots sit down in a little bit of water and it keeps those lettuce plants alive hydroponically so that you can just cut and come again. And cut and come again is just picking the outer lettuce leaves off, leaving the center to continue to grow. Ours that we've done this way is done fantastic. Well, I'm sure there are probably a hundred other plants herbs, roots that you could find at the grocery store from items that you wouldn't normally think about. Use your mind a little, think about it. Start looking around the grocery store and seeing what you might be able to plant in your garden. And if you have some stuff that I didn't mention, please leave it down in the comments. I'd love to get more ideas on how to garden on a budget and make it more affordable to attain new plants from the grocery store. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.